46 would like to know what vulnerabilities NIC2 found in the site. To find out, let's go run NIC2. So we're going to open up a terminal. And then to see the options NIC2 has, you can just type in NIC2. If you get an error like, hey, NIC2 is not installed, you can just go ahead and install it. It requires sudo privileges to install software, so we give it sudo, and then we install the software itself. The elapsed time on this installation could be up to a minute. So now we'll try to type in the NIC2 command again, and we get the output. So here we'll have the different options. The main ones we're going to use is the dash H. We can also use the dash no SSL to make this run a little faster if we only want to scan uh, just for like header issues and stuff like that against this particular site, which runs in HTTP. And then we're going to give it the domain name and the dash H option because that's the, the host. We can also say where we want the output to go in case we want to save the output in the format of the output. The output is specified with dash O or dash output, and the format is dash F, or you can also do dash format. The different formats are like CSV, HTM, and so an HTML file will work just fine for us. So we're going to do NIC2, and the host is going to be matilda.local. Then the dash O option is the output file, so we'll just send it to the temp directory. We'll call it results.html, and the format is going to be HTM. And for this exercise, that's going to be good enough. Now, rather than wait for the results to finish, I'll just go ahead and show you here that it found that the cookie PHP sys ID is created without the HTTP only flag. We go back over here, select that option, and hit submit. 